Hello everyone and welcome to another Screaming Frog Quickfire Guide, this time on the Exclude. So this can be found under Configuration Exclude and it's a really fundamental feature when you want to exclude pages from being crawled. This is particularly useful for when crawling large or complicated websites that perhaps have a faceted navigation or lots of filters or sorting options with followed links. So this might be where they have lots of variants of pages, perhaps price, size, colors, and it would just be unnecessary to crawl them all. Perhaps there's a million of them and you just don't want to have to crawl them all. You know they're canonicalized already. You don't need the details. Or it might just be where you just don't want to crawl a particular section of a website. You have incorrect relative linking or infinite URL somewhere like crawling a calendar this particular feature can help in all those scenarios. Now it uses regex, which is really powerful, but can make it slightly complicated. So here's a few simple tips. So number one, to exclude a URL, you can simply input the URL here. And to test that works, go to the test tab, input the URL, and you can see here that it says it's excluded. So that's worked. If you wanted to exclude anything within that folder, simply include a dot and a star afterwards. And again, we can test that has worked. We can see that the user guide, which is sat within the SEO Spider folder, has also been excluded. To exclude a word, simply include a dot and a star at the front and a dot and star at the back. You can see this excludes the word SEO hyphen spider. So it can just be any word within there. Um, to exclude a parameter, for example, let's say you have a price equals parameter, you can input it in here. Now, a little warnings come up to say this is not a valid regular expression, which you can see here. And the reason for that is that it uses a special character, the question mark. So when there is a special character in regex, they need to be escaped. So they're treated as the letter. So if I include a dot and a star again, and then include a backslash, that will let the SES spider know that the question mark should be treated as a question mark. And again, that can be tested in here. So if we include price equals, we can see it now says excluded. So there's a few examples there. We have more in our user guide and I recommend checking it out. And now if you're just not comfortable using regex, there is another option. You can use robots.txt disallow. So you can go to configuration, robots.txt, custom, and you can include disallows within here instead of using the exclude feature. It works in the same way. However, I do recommend using the exclude feature and brushing up on regex because it's really powerful. That's everything on the exclude. I hope that helped.